we are now going to solve double linear inequalities. And a double linear inequality is simply a type of and statement, where we say a is less than x and x is less than b. And as long as this part's the same, then we can combine them to be a single inequality, which allows us a lot of freedom in solving the problems. For instance, suppose I start with minus 5 is less than or equal to 2x minus 3, which is less than 19. Well, it's a lot easier to solve this than it would if they were separate, because now what I do to one side, I do to all sides. Let's add 3 to all sides. Minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. 19 plus 3 is 22. Now I can divide everything by 2. Minus 1 is less than or than equal to x, which is less than 11. So here's our inequality notation. All the values between minus 1 and 11, including minus 1. We can also write this in interval notation, going from minus 1 to 11. And we have our answer. So by being able to combine all steps at once with one single double inequality, I can save on time. Now you do have to be careful. For instance, suppose we have the following problem. 2 is less than minus 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to 11. When we solve this, we'll subtract 5. 2 minus 5 is minus 3. Is less than minus 3x is less than or equal to 11 minus 5 is 6. Because now when I divide by minus 3, I'm going to get 1 is greater than x, which is greater than or equal to minus 2. Because I divided by that negative, I had to switch my inequality signs. And we don't like the way this is written anymore, because it doesn't go from smallest to biggest. So we reverse it. Minus 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 1. And our interval notation answer is minus 2. 2, 1 with a parenthesis on the 1. So make sure when you divide by a negative, you remember to reverse your directions. And then always remember we go from smallest to biggest.